Muhammad Bakiri Muhammad. So forgive us if you hear us calling. They have themselves a semi finalist in Maxim Potvin, but he's got to get past Muhammad Muhammad, the 27 year old Iranian, versus the 26 year old Canadian. Now, these two. These two have uh, have really, really similar style. Maxim uh, is going to be the taller, the taller out of the two, so he's going to have the longer reach. Maxim's lucky to still be in this competition. He fought uh, one of your uh, teammates in uh, Jordan Gale earlier on today, and that was a real tight contest. It went right down to the wire, and uh, eventually the Canadian sneaked through. That's right, Joe. Jordan was unfortunate, unfortunate to lose against him. Um, such a young player, talented player for Manchester. Um, he's, he's, got, he's got so much time behind his back, so for him to actually get the experience that he had fighting the world-class players, this one is going to get him better. But uh, Maxim got a better over of him right now, and he's got to the stage, and it's proved a point that um, that um, that he should be here. So, um, so it's going to be interesting between between Maxim and Bagari. So. A hug. Perhaps that's what he needs. It can always help. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like a hug before you go out? Yeah, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind a hug just to get a little assurance before I go in there, just to let me know if it's going to be okay. <laughs> Next thing you'll tell me, you've got a teddy bear. You're six foot two, man. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't mind a teddy bear too. <laughs> Come Let's get back to Taekwondo. That's a bit tougher than teddy bears and Muhammad Cho. <laughs> Here they are then. So this time. Iranian Mohammed Motamed is in the blue, in red, or Hong, as it's known, Maxime Potvin of Canada, won the US Open in Las Vegas in uh, 2012 and 2013, he obviously likes to go to Vegas. <laughs> yeah, Maxime's been around, we, we know that, uh, we know that he's, he's, a, he's a tall player for 468, he's got that reach. And he's using it to his advantage at the moment. Yeah, visibly can see the, the height difference when they square up properly. That's why he's uh, certainly taller. Definitely, he's 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 taller than two, so he's gonna use he's gonna try to keep him at his leg length. And uh, Bagheri from Iran is gonna try and get into that distance and work in that short distance, which is his distance. So um, it's gonna be interesting. To, there you go with that long reach there, he's trying to go over to go to the head. So. Uh, don't forget, Bagheri Mutamid, 2009 World Champion, silver medalist, the 2011 World Championships, and silver medalist in the 2012 Olympic Games. What a caliber he's got, but uh, he's coming up against a man with superbly long legs, and uh, just keeps reaching out as Potvin and trying to use those to his advantage. And then interestingly there, getting in close for a big guy, he was quite happy to come in quite close there. Yeah, he's got to be careful because um, because coming in like that, it could cost him by Bagheri moving moving his front leg to the face. So um, there you go, here's that shot there, that long reach that we was talking about. He's using it to, to his advantage and it's working for him. So what Bagheri needs to do is, is probably, probably move and sneak into his distance and um, probably work with that front leg a bit more. Long legs that are quick, that's uh, a combination that you don't want to face too often. No, you don't, you don't, you got to be careful not going too much into his distance because if he is then uh, then Maxime can easily move to the face. So, um, so it's very tactical at the moment of what he needs to do and how he needs to approach this fight. So uh, Maxime Potvin. Again, not inside the top five for either under 68 or under 63 kilograms. So uh, in terms of world rankings, he's uh, he's out of his depth. But as we've already seen tonight, and his history tells you he's not out of his depth at all. He's uh, just not ranked that highly this time round. But here he is on the big stage doing what he needs to do. He stretched out those long legs, as uh, Mama said, and he leads by that solitary point to nothing here in the break. That's right, that's why that, what we say, Maxime, total out of two. He's going to use to his advantage. Um, he's going to be effective with that. So, um, so Bagheri needs to really think about how he's going to want to approach, how he's going to want to come into that distance. I think probably if he can probably use his front leg just a little bit more, work right, get up a little bit more, because he's slowing down the pace of the game, and Maxime's not going to allow it with his long reach. So. 
the, uh, the crowd enjoying this one as well, drawn in to an interesting fight. And, uh, we move into round two here. Still one nothing to the Canadian. Winner of the, uh, oh sorry, Dutch silver medalist in the Dutch Open in uh, 2013. He's been picking up silverware and ranking points. But, uh, here, Bagheri Mutamid. There you go with that punch there. Just a bit of a standoff for a few seconds. He's trying to read, read his game. There you go. There you go, that slow, that slow motion there. He's trying to sneak into the distance, like I said in the beginning of the, beginning of the fight. There you go, he's doing it again. So um, he's, he's, he's being crafted, and that's what he needs to do. With taller players, they, um, they, uh, the timing could be, could be quite, um, quite slow, but um, with shorter players, they can sneak in and just like just like cat and mouse really so this is this is what it is right now motamid a moment ago just whipping past the head guard of popman who ducked down oh, what a there punch there go, punch very there. quick hands very quick from hands. the big man uh, Max, maxime again with, with a long reach using it to his advantage there you go baggy but he put his hand there to block so uh, to cancel that back leg out. Again, Popman then just stretching out that long right leg and flicks towards the face. The referee just telling them to come together. And uh, well, Popman thinks he got it, but then uh, gets back down to action. He's not called and he manages to push away. More time with this time, and then they come in close. And all. Very close there. Very, 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 very close. But then again, I think his height just came to the rescue there. He got another punch to the body. Just a bit too low to register. Yeah. Matami would have felt it, but it was too low to register oh, yeah. on the <laughs> mat. Well, 2 nothing. So, uh, small steps for the big Palpin. But uh, one point in each round, that's plenty enough to win it, isn't it? Well, it can, it can, it can be, it can be a, a winning score. But then again, we always do know the final round is always exciting. Um, you're gonna put, every, you're gonna leave everything on the mat, and I'm sure Bagheri is gonna come out now and uh, do everything that he can to get those points back up, or even try and win it to the last second. So this is gonna be interesting. So they ain't got no kyungos. Um, both of them are clean, clean fighters. So, so this is gonna be interesting. Who's gonna actually take the risk? This is gonna. This is going to be the question. See there, uh, Motamid trying to register with a punch of his own and just didn't come off. And uh, well, the longer this goes without him registering, the more nervous he'll perhaps become. Canadian leading into this final round. Two to nothing. There we go. Both of them hit the deck and uh, Popman's claiming a touch of some sorts. No appeals from either camp. He did say to his coach that he scored, but his coach had different ideas. So like we said, that 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 that, that, that play on coach, coach initiative, he may think he scored, but the coach is thinking, no, save the car probably for later on, you never know. So so it might be a good shout for him. He still leads, and uh, the yellow mark now against Otami. He's lost half a point. Oh, coming together there, and, well, he got another Kyongo, gives a point to Maxime. That's not helping Motamid's cause whatsoever. No, that at all, but, but a point to the head now could, put, could even it up, so so anything can go to go a minute 20. That's enough time. Just into uh, under a minute 20 hit, three nothing it is to Popman. The Iranian's ill-discipline has cost him one of those points. Popping's skill and courage has got him the other two. Go, Bagheri needs, to, needs to really carry on with a game that he had when he was sneaking in. It was working effectively, even though he wasn't scoring, but the pressure was going up. And that, and that, I think that's the game you need to play against Maxime because Maxime is slowing the pace down to, to his level. And if you allow it, then he's going to be the one controlling the fight. Oh, 50 seconds, and I tell you what, Popping just stretching towards underneath the chin didn't quite catch it again Canadian coach happy to keep his card in but uh, it must have been pretty close yeah, he's, he's, he knows that he's comfortable at the moment so he's going to keep him at bay with his long with his long legs 
And uh, Bagheri is probably looking for that, for that three points to the headshot. So another half point goes for Bagheri. Mutamendi as he hits the deck. Bagheri is looking seconds. for that headshot to even the score left. up. He's got 15 seconds. And he's looking for that headshot. He's working to look for that headshot. 10 seconds now. And here you can just see Popkin just trying to keep his man at bay with those long legs. Sure Five is. seconds. But he ain't got no solution. This one's over. There you go. What a strong performance from the Canadian Maxine Popkin. And again, we've said it over the course of this weekend entirely. A lot of surprises here in Manchester. This Grand Prix series might just put the cat amongst the pigeons, as they say. That's right. That's right. Maxime come out of nowhere and. Uh, and um, he played against fantastic players, knock, knocking out great, great players. And he's got a point to prove. So um, this uh, this tournament is proving to people that are not even in the ranking, they can actually step up their game.